Welcome to a Silk Central support video. In this demonstration, we will be showing how to integrate Silk Central GitHub. First thing we want to do is log into the application as a user with permission to create a source control profile. Once we are in the application, the user will see their dashboard and we can go to test source control integrations. Once we are in this view, we can select new profile. We will give the source control profile a new name. And from the source control types, we will select Git. We will now see the dialog modify for the Git properties. First thing we must do is go to GitHub and get the URL for the Git repository first of all. Once we have copied this to our clipboard, we will now go back to Silk Central and paste this into the URL field. The next step is to enter the credentials to log into Git. This will be a username and a working folder which is where it will check the files out in the execution server. Once we have specified this, we will then select the level for the project path. In this example, we will select our jars folder, as this is where we've compiled the JUnit test to. We will then click OK, and the Git repository will now be visible in the source control integrations window. Now that we've created the source control profile, we will now need to create a test container that will utilize the source control profile. We will give this a name and select the source control integration kit demo, which we have just created. We will then click OK, and we will now see that there's no tests added. Our next step will be to add a test case based on what is available in our Git repository. In this example, we will use a JUnit test type. So under the type select list, we will select JUnit test. In the class path, we will specify relative to the working folder or jar files. We can see from the repository that these are in the folder jars and the name of the two jar files. As we've already selected jars as our project path, we can just use dot forward slash and the name of the jar file. And in this window, we will specify both of the jar files that are required for this integration. We will leave the test class and method empty at this stage as we want to be able to run all methods in the jar file. Now that we've created our test case, we must now create an execution plan to run this test case. We will then go to execution planning details view and give the execution plan a name. In here, we will specify the test container, which is related to the git test. We can also see this source control label, which is allows us to define a branch for our git repository. In this example, we will use the test branch that we've created on our git repository. And select OK. We will now go to the deployment tab before we run this and specify an execution server for the test. Before we execute the test, we must make sure that we have assigned all test cases that we require in the execution plan. We can now run the test case. We will get the results back and we can see what has happened during this test case. This is how to integrate Silk Central with Git. Thanks very much for watching. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.